Blog Talk Radio. Across the country and around the world, streaming live on the internet, it's Real Estate Coaching Radio, bringing you the latest news, interviews, and secrets of the top producers. Hosted by award-winning real estate coaches, Tim and Julie Harris. Welcome back. It's Tim and Julie Harris, and this is Real Estate Coaching Radio, and this is your source for unfiltered, full-strength honesty about everything that matters in real estate. So, everyone, as we have been, I don't know what the word would be, warning you perhaps, the spring boom is here. And I want everyone to be clear, and be clear as like you have never been clear about anything in your life before about what I'm about to tell you. We are at the very beginning stages of what will be a 7 to 10 year real estate boom. I'm going to say that again. We are in a different real estate cycle now. Now, just because one cycle, there's no such thing as one cycle completely ending and another completely beginning. Depending on where you are in the country, there's a little bit of a spillover. Depending on your individual market, there are sub-markets inside your market that are doing exceptionally well, and then there are other markets inside your market that aren't. So in other words, yes, we're in the beginning of a very long-term corrective cycle, and for many of us, it'll be the bulk of our real estate careers. But the moral of the story and the thing I want you to be very clear about in your head is that you have to be taking action now. Do not be guarded with your ambition. Do not think small with your intention. And absolutely, positively, do not take half measures in your actions. So, Julie, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to be here. So, everyone, again, please be clear. This is not my belief and our coach's belief. This is not a philosophy. This is not a, anything else. This is a fact, a stone-cold, hard, in-your-face, Try to argue with this fact, fact. <laughs> Good luck. That we, exactly. That we are unquestionably, the pendulum is now officially swinging the other way, and we are unquestionably at the very beginning stages of what will be an ever-increasingly corrected market. Again, I'm going to say this so everyone's clear, and nobody misquote me on this. You might be in a market where, like I'll give you an example, our personal example, where we sold real estate in Columbus, Ohio for almost 10 years. In that market, there were markets that even when the overall economy wasn't doing great in lovely Columbus, Ohio, the individual housing markets were doing exceptionally well. Not all of them, some of them. So there were little spikes in activity here and there, and there were in some other parts of that market what would only be described as a real estate crash. So houses were losing value. They're depreciating. So other parts of the country are going to have blanket appreciation increasing in values there's parts of the country right now and you guys are some a lot of you are frankly in these are blessed with these markets where you cannot uh, walk out your door without stumbling across a house or a property of some variety that's increasing in value where there's you know for every one listing there's 10 buyers know your market that's something that we preach and we and frankly pray that you guys take seriously is that you know your market, you study your market, you really absolutely positively know the facts, know the do regular um, CMAs, BPOs, study your MLS. All of you guys who are doing BPOs or have done BPOs in the past, add that back into your business so you can really uh, intentionally learn what's happening in the market. I'm going to say this and again, please absolutely positively be clear that this is the very beginning stages of what will be a 7- to 10-year corrective cycle, ask yourself, had you known, many of you were in real estate then, many of you guys were our coaching students then, many of you have been following us since the early 90s, but had you known in 2000 or 2001 that we are at the beginning stages of a 7-year boom in housing, which is what it worked out to be, what would you have done differently then? I ask that question of all of you all the time. And you know what the number one answer is? You know what it is, Julie, right? What is the number one answer? Would have saved more money. That's right. 
That's what everybody says. They said every time I ask somebody that question, a superstar interview, it doesn't matter if it's the number one agent in California, number one agent in Ohio, number one agent uh, in Century 21, number one agent in Remax. Yep. All these doesn't people matter are where superstars. they are, what company, or what their production That's was. Right. It was That's more exactly. money. When we say that your guys' answer is always save more money, we don't mean in the form of rental properties. We don't mean in the form of speculation on something. We mean real, honest to goodness, reserve money. Why? It it's not off. because you wanted to blow through the reserves. It's because it would have given you a little bit of freedom to observe what was going on in the market and make some changes without having, in some of your cases, let's be honest, your uh, you know, tush handed to you, which right. many so, of you are pulling out of now. And this is a cr- tremendous opportunity to make this your comeback season, your comeback year, your comeback seven years. You know, really the only yeah. question, it isn't a question of when or if it's occurring. We already know for a fact. I think, Tim, you were pretty clear that this is a fact. It, the only question really is how well our students and future students will be monetizing that fact and how quickly they're going to take action on it. Well, really, that's the bottom line, right? So how long are you going to take action to make money? So what we did is we wrote out, and this is, kind of, this is something fun that Julie and I had fun creating for you guys this morning, is we wrote, do you have those notes in front of you, Joel? I do, of course. Okay, good. So what's the title of today's call, today's radio the spring show? Housing, 2014 Spring Housing Boom, Your 30-Day Massive Action Plan. Pretty cool, huh? So we're going to go over that when we come back. So we're going to take a really quick break. And when we come back, I want you guys to get ready to write, uh, take down notes. There's five points to today's radio show. We're going to go through the points relatively quickly so that we can get everything covered. And, again, a lot of you are requesting free coaching calls. You're lacking direction. You're not sure what you should do next. Remember, you absolutely positively need to request a free coaching call at freecoachingcallsforagents.com. So more when we come back. Is coaching right for you? And how can I guarantee it will work for me? Chances are you are asking yourself those questions right now. I'll answer those critical questions for you in just a moment. But first, let's be honest about something you may have always suspected. You've probably always known that the nation's top 1% of realtors, you know, those millionaire agents you see on TV, they possess a secret knowledge that the other 99% of agents do not have. Where did they learn what they know? And more importantly, how did they learn how to put this closely guarded information into money-making action? It's simple. They have a coach. Not just any coach. The nation's mega millions, top 1% of the realtors know that in order to maintain their almost unfair advantage, that they must have their own personal coach, a proven market-tested coach who has truly walked in their shoes, a coach who has worked with many of the nation's leading agents. At this point, you're probably ready to maybe try coaching. However, you don't want to be unfairly locked into a long-term ball and chain that coaching contracts can give you. It just makes sense that you should be able to try it before you buy it. Even more importantly, you want to have a coach who is the best of the best not someone who is simply assigned to you, or even worse, has never sold real estate. Can you imagine? If this is you, I have something for you right now that is exactly what you have been looking for. For the next 48 hours, Tim and Julie Harris Real Estate Coaching is offering you a free coaching call. This is a real coaching call with a real Tim and Julie Harris coach. Now, while you are thinking about it, why don't you visit us online? at freecoachingcallsforagents.com to get started. Once again, that is freecoachingcallsforagents.com. Now, let's be clear. This exclusive coaching opportunity is only available for the first 50 realtors who are stone-cold serious about their real estate business and know that in order to succeed at the highest level, they must hire a coach. So don't wait any longer. Take action now and visit us again at freecoachingcallsforagents.com to schedule your free coaching call. Again, that's freecoachingcallsforagents.com. Thanks so much. See you all soon.
Okay, we are back, and we're going to get right to the points as promised. So, Jules, you have the notes right in front of you. Let's just jump right in with point number one. And there's multiple point. little sub-points to point number one, guys, so make sure you take notes. Absolutely. Okay, so point number one, create a 30-day massive, here's the important word, action plan. Create a 30-day massive action plan. Now, what should that have in it? Specifically, one, two, three, four, five, six items. So make sure you guys are writing down all of these. It is not a choose one of the six. It is do all of the above. Now, point A, set specific sales goals. We're talking about total number of listings, total number of sales. What are you going to have pending? How much do you have to earn in the next 30 days? What's the number? Don't just say more. You have to have a number and then work backwards. Well, let me, let me jump in there, Julie, to help them sure. kind of refine that thinking. And I'll, also, I'll cover some of the other points you're about to go over. You got it. So I had a free coaching call right before the radio show today. A, a longtime student who'd been with us since, I think, 2008, really great guy up in Utah. And he and I were talking about basically the fact that he needs some more focus, and he knew that already. So um, what I asked him is, how many listings is the most listings you've ever had at once? He said it was either 12 or 14. I said, so you can emotionally imagine you having 10 listings at all times. And he said, of course. So I said, in your market, had you, if you had 10 listings at all times, is it safe to assume, say, two or three of them would sell per month? Yes. If you had two or three listings sell per month consistently, what would your income be? His average commission was $4,900. $4,900 times three is $15,000 a month. $15,000 times 12 is $180,000 a year. How much money did he earn last year? Fifty or $60,000 based on his math. Mm-hmm. So it would be a substantial increase in pay. So his focus, and what he and I are going to focus on because he became one of my personal coaching students, is he and I are going to focus 100% of our activity in the next 90 days of getting his inventory up to 10 and then maintaining it. So in other words, his new life, say starting in July, once we've gotten his inventory up to 10, is to replace what sells. The initial stages that we're going to be working on, which is the building of the inventory, getting to 10 will be the work part. But after we get to 10, he just needs to replace what sells, then it will be the maintenance part, much easier. So on a free coaching call, that is the types of conversations we're going to have. Because at the end of the day, his life would have gotten and will be substantially better simply having 10 listings at all times. Now, in your market, if your average commission is 10,000, you might be happy as you you could be with only three or five listings at all times. The focus has to be on the listings. The focus has to be on what's going to put you in a position to help the most people and obviously make the most money for you and the people you care about. Next point, Jules. Point B is have your mornings absolutely scheduled. Do what's most important first. I always challenge my private coaching clients to set an appointment before noon every day with a buyer or a seller. Schedule your mornings. That includes point C, making them media-free mornings. Control what you're putting into your head. No news, no newspapers, none of that media other than what you control, which is emails related to negotiating, but absolutely your lead follow-up, your prospecting. And and I always say prospecting with intent to set appointment before noon, not just, hey, how's it going? Do you still need to, do you still have to buy or sell a home? If so, you know what to do next, right? Get it scheduled. Do what it takes to help them. So actually control, especially your time before noon, and that includes having your uh, media-free morning. So, Tim, talk about the next point, evening brain dumps. We talked about controlling the well, morning. What do you mean by that? So there's two ways to, you know, there's a way to begin your day and a way to end your day. And the way these, are, these ideas are designed is to alleviate the stress that so many of you seem to carry around with you all day long. Remember, we used to sell real estate. <laughs> when we, we know say, how it is. <laughs> we know how it is. We know how it is that when you start dreaming about real estate transactions, you know, maybe at some point that's a little sign that you should be having your better your life better organized before you go to bed, you know, or you should be clearing your mind of maybe some of the clutter that's causing you to not have a, you know, really I don't use, like to use the word balance, but having a balanced perspective, having a more balanced flow to your life having your days go more organically with less drama. So more control here's the way of your time. To, that's right. Here's the way to start the day. No media. That means no Internet, no radio, no newspaper, no TV, no nothing. A lot of us over the years have gotten into the habit of basically starting our day with media and ending our day with media. 
In other words, you go to the news because you're addicted to it. We all are at some level. Well, we used to be. We don't even watch it anymore. And uh, you flip on to find out, you know, what horrible thing has happened while you were sleeping. Right? Yeah, that's cheery. Let's wake up to that. It is. Yes, let's <laughs> open the paper and read what horrible headline there is right at the top Ugh. thing, just to start your day that yeah. way. That's cheery. And then what happens yeah. before people go to bed? Same thing. Same thing. They watch the news. Oh, my gosh, what's the latest drama of this latest drama? And then you basically are bookmarking your days with negativity. So one of the things I want all of you to do to the next 30 days to really get yourself in massive action is clear your mind of the clutter. Now, the brain dump, very simple concept. Before you go to bed every single day, write down every single thing that's on your mind. It doesn't matter if it's business or personal. Don't worry about prioritizing it. Don't worry about any of that stuff. Just get it out of your head. Get it onto a piece of paper. And you will be amazed how much less stressed you are. And, hey, guess what? You'll sleep better at night. Uh, next sub point, Julie? We've got to go through these quick. Look at the time. Yep, you got it. Next sub point is set minimum daily standards that include the number of contacts. The number of contacts you make per day must be three times your unit goal for the month. Pretty specific. There you go. So the that, number of contacts, three times the unit goal. Okay, now who should you contact? The obvious choices are people who have a house to sell that we are sure have a house for sale or a two cell, and that would be expireds and FISBOs. Yes, we know you can make $9 million just listed and just sold calls and say you made a lot of contacts. Who cares if they're not going to list or buy with you? FISBOs, and that's expireds, fallacy, past clients. Go ahead. And that same logic is the fallacy of you guys who think you can build your business based on a referral-only program. I mean, that's right. a huge fallacy because just because you have 100 people in your list or 1,000 people in your list or wherever the heck it is, what makes you think, you know, 99% of those people have any interest in doing business with, you know, you or anybody else? In other words, they're just not in the market. And then the other fallacy is that sa those same people a lot of times are also being solicited by other realtors, right? If you were the only realtor that these people knew and you are the only realtor that these people ever get any communications from ever and you did it consistently, then I'd say, heck yeah, let's just focus on by referral because you can get all your business from those sources. But the fact that agents are getting emails and they're getting, or sellers are getting emails and they're getting postcards and they're getting uh, you know, solicitations everywhere they turn from every other kind of agent, and all these agents are putting all these people into their same by referral programs, guess what's happening? The effectiveness of those programs goes to less than zero. In other words, it goes into the bucket of total waste of time and energy. And for those of you who are dropping off forget-me-not seeds and doing all these other little tchotchke things, stop doing it. It doesn't work. It's a waste of money. The reason it hasn't worked for you yet isn't because you haven't done it for long enough. It's because it doesn't work. They're not Common moving. <laughs> and, and furthermore, why would you ever say any type of real estate with the word only after it, with so many different ways to make money in real estate? I just don't get that. But anyway, okay, so point number two, all of what we talked about was point number one having to do with your actual plan. Point number two, practice urgent, relentless lead follow-up every single workday of this 30 days with intention to set appointment. We're talking about urgent, relentless lead follow-up. That means call them practically before they've hung up leaving you a message. That means use great tools like 1-800-HOME-HOTLINE.COM. I don't care what kind of lead it is. I don't care if they texted you, emailed you, voicemailed you. You call them back immediately. I think that's pretty clear. That's it. Yeah. Point number definitely. three, call 100% call of your own past clients and centers of influence. So there's an easy way to calculate this figure out how many people are on your list. Now, I know you don't have phone numbers for everybody. Part of the process here is finding the phone numbers and making contact, of course. So divide the total number you have by however many work days. So if we take weekends out, it's really 20 actual work days. Maybe some of you it's 25. And that will tell you how many past clients for you to contact per day. For most of you, it's somewhere between 3 and 10 calls per day. If you can do it this way, you will get through your entire list in 30 days. Do you think you might have more referrals by doing it this way? Do you think by so talking to 100% of them, you'll get at least three listings? So the question a lot it's of you likely. Have, Go ahead. So a lot of, the question a lot of you have is that what do you say? How do you say it? Well, what do you, you know, how do you handle those calls to those sellers? You know, what are you supposed to say so you don't come off as a pushy salesperson? You know, how do you overcome the fear that, oh, my gosh, I haven't communicated with them in forever, or what if they don't remember me, or blah, blah, blah. Well, request a free coaching call. Free coaching calls for agents.com will tell you exactly what to say. We'll make sure role play you it with you. Out your, 
filling, make sure when you're filling out your request for a free coaching call at the bottom section that you write on there that you want to focus on your centers of influence and past client system and scripts, and that is what we'll focus on on your free coaching call. Go to freecoachingcallsforagents.com. Next, Julie. Point number four, price reductions on all listings that have been on the market for 30 days or more. All listings. Okay. I don't care the situation, luxury, not luxury, first-time buyer. If it's been on the market 30 days or longer, you have a price issue. That's it, especially in this market. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And some of you guys are resisting that. Well, when I put it on the market, it looked priced right. I mean, it, I have three comps that support that. Well, guess what? NAR has said for ages and ages, if after two weeks or ten showings you do not have a workable offer, you are probably 10% over the market. Depends on price range and what your real comps are, but it's time for you to do a reality tour, i.e. preview the new competition. Find out what actually is selling and make some adjustments. It is confusing. I mean, some of you guys are in situations where you have some listings where the price is being controlled by the banks because it's a short sale. Others where there are REOs that's being controlled by the investor. Sometimes the sellers, you know, you have unmotivated sellers or sellers that aren't as motivated as others. All those things are confusing, and the way you approach each of those types of listings is different. Again, free coaching calls for agents.com, but the bottom line is, what Julie said, two weeks, ten showings, no offer, 10% overpriced, especially in this market. So next point, Julie. Point is, number five, our final point, request a free coaching call so we can help you diagnose what is exactly happening in your own real estate practice. We can talk about what to say to those past clients, centers of influence. We can talk about your listing inventory. We'll you know, role play whatever you need to role play to make you absolutely successful on the phone every single time. It is not the time to be using the excuse that I don't know what to say or how to say it or I'm getting ready to do something. That's not the well, time. Please. We are in second quarter starting now. That's right. So, Julie, let's just do a little be honest here. The free coaching calls are not for everyone. I mean, honestly. No. Not everyone listening to this show because we're having thousands of people. If you're not serious, people, please do not take a half hour that somebody else who is serious could be utilizing. That's it. If you're not serious, and obviously priority is going to be given to existing coaching students for scheduling and for those of you who are ready to become a coaching student. A lot of you, I know, are exploring your options as far as coaching and training, and at the same time, you're also looking into whether or not you should be uh, subscribing to one of these paid lead services, one of these services that sells you buyer leads, truly a Zillow, Realtor.com, you know, Boomtown. There's zillions of them now. Uh, Market Leader, you know, which is truly a, they're the same thing now. So you go through all the list of all the different places you guys can buy leads, and, you know, you think, well, that's the silver bullet. I can just have somebody else do my lead generation for me, and I can just wake up in the morning, turn on my computer, download my newest lead, and go out and sell a house and get paid in 30 days. doesn't work like that, guys. doesn't work like that. You know it doesn't work like that. You know, especially if you've ever subscribed to any of those services. Um, you know that at the end of the day, the only way a top producer becomes a top producer is because they do not get suckered by any sort of lead selling service. They know at the end of the day they have to learn to generate so they do not have to tolerate. Tolerate what, Julie? Tolerate lack of consistent income. Tolerate lack of focused, serious clients. Tolerate, you know, let's be honest, kind of sketchy deals that probably shouldn't be thrown together in the first place because that's all you're working. You know, tolerate lack of leads. you got to generate Lots of business, lots of people to talk to so that you do not have to tolerate those things that drive you guys crazy, the 3 a.m. real estate night sweats. You want to end those? Become a powerful listing agent. So, Julie, in the time remaining, review the points that we just wrote down. That you we got it. So, top of the call, we talked about the importance of creating your 30-day massive action plan, which should include the following. Specific sales goals, scheduled mornings, media-free mornings, evening brain dumps, minimum daily standards, which include the number of contacts and the number of contacts per day has to be three times the unit goal for the month. Contacting expireds for sale by owners, past clients, center of influence, people who have homes to sell. Point number two, practice urgent, relentless lead follow-up on a daily basis. Number three, call 100% of your past clients and center of influence. Divide them out, split it up per day, makes it a lot easier. Number four, price reduce all listings that have been on the market 30 days or more. And number five, request a free coaching call so we can help you with all of this. That's it, freecoachingcallsforagents.com. Guys, you know 
that we're going to always tell you the truth. And I know that some of you aren't going to want to hear the truth. Some of you want to debate it or argue about it, or some of you are skeptical when you hear somebody say, for example, hey, guess what, building your team is not probably the thing you should be doing right now, or buyer agents are probably not something you should ever consider adding uh, now or if ever. Some of you are going to be confused when we say things like, hey, guess what, guys, this, uh, Facebook and all the other social networking sites are not a lead generation source. They're a place that you can go to reinforce your, uh, your I don't know what you want to call it, your relationships. <laughs> I mean, I put relationships in quotes, quotes around it. because, I mean, Facebook <laughs> friends, are they really friends? Usually not. Yeah. You know, Do you even know who some of those people are? <laughs> yeah, well, Julie and I have over, what, 11 know? or 12 or 13,000 Facebook friends? Now, a lot of you guys know who we are, but, I mean, frankly, we don't, we're not really friends, are we? Not until we actually communicate, not until we actually have a relationship. So for me to expect people that don't really know me to want to do a real estate transaction, you know, it doesn't really make sense, does it? So, guys, listen, you know through using just common sense and look how you buy things and you sell things. Look how you make decisions on who you're going to do business with. Your customers are going to do it the same way. So when someone sells you or tries to sell you in an email or a phone call or anything else, something that supposedly is going to generate leads for you, hang up the phone. When they're trying to sell you some new shiny bangle that's going to solve all your problems, some fancy CRM or a drip system or all these other little goofy things that are out there right now, hang up the phone. Tell them that you have to focus on getting your listing inventory up to whatever your 30-day business massive action plan calls for, and, uh, you know, that's what, your, that's what your true focus is. Don't be surprised when the people that are trying to sell you guys stuff, when you learn that even the other coaches, you guys know that of all the different coaches that are out there right now, and there's probably about four or six that, uh, you know, I would say have any credibility whatsoever, and what, one or two of them, Julie and I being, you know, one and two, are the only ones that have ever sold real estate before. All these other guys have never sold real estate before. So, you know, it's up to you to be a skeptic. It's up to you to be critical. It's up to you to ask the tough questions. It's up to, it's up to you to really think with your head on straight about, are, am I willing to do the work? Am I willing to actually, for the next 30 to 90 days, am I really, truly willing to have a focused plan? If you are, we're here for you. So the free coaching calls aren't for everybody. But if the free coaching call is for you, if you're truly ready to take your business to the next level, hey, guess what? It's free. <laughs> Julie and I are on the roster. You can probably get into our schedules. We usually schedule a week or two out, but I'd love to talk with you. Free coaching yeah, but calls. Please be for serious. Agents. Be ready to take notes. And I'll tell you, if you're driving around in your car on your cell phone, we're not going to do that. You have to be no, serious. Exactly. You're ready to rumble. We're not going to talk to you sitting at lunch at a restaurant. That's not what this is about. That's absolutely true. So you guys Just better be reminder, keeping that in friendly mind. Friendly reminder. <laughs> friendly reminder. That's right. A nice friendly reminder from Julie. <laughs> yeah, All right. Go. So I will talk with you tomorrow. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you for listening today. This program has been a presentation by Tim and Julie Harris, Real Estate Coaching. For more information on our real estate coaching and training programs, visit our website at timandjulieharris.com. Remember to tune in weekdays at noon for upcoming shows. And until next time, thank you for listening to Real Estate Coaching Radio with Tim and Julie Harris. Thank you.